target dies, the mission will have been for nothing. Please consider the target's safety as well. Kid. Oh, looks like I was off the mark this time. Gotta hand it to you, Miranda. You were right. But do not do something like that again. Next time I won't come looking for you. You don't have to tell me that. But... Well... Thanks for saving me. <sighs> Man... The world is just nuts. They're not like us. Grown-ups like us... We're punished for the sins we commit. But them... Sometimes fate deals them a bad hand, and they're forced to live with that. One kid... He's born into a nice family in the U.S. or wherever. Grows up reading comics and eating pizza. While another... He's born in the middle of a civil war, and gets handed an assault rifle for his 10th birthday. And what's the difference between them? Between them and this kid? They're all just kids. Kill a child and the future dies, if just a little, with him. Whoever this kid is, there's nothing he could have done to justify getting sent to this hellhole. Reeve. <gasps> Look, our little patient's awake. Hi, are you okay? Am I... dead? Is this... Heaven? Wrong on both counts, I'm afraid. You're still alive, and this ain't close to heaven. Yeah, I can believe that. Wouldn't expect monsters in heaven. What's your name? Chris. Yeah? So, how'd you end up in a place like this, Chris? You don't want to answer? That's fine. Just remember this. This is not a dream. This is reality. 
and this place is crawling with those things. And if you don't want to see what Heaven's really like, you're just gonna have to work with us. Got that? My... my wheelchair... What was that? I don't have my wheelchair! You use a wheelchair? All the more reason for us to work together, right? Okay. All right, then. Welcome to Detail, Chris. There is something to report. While analyzing the data from Gruen, I came across information on another memory board. Go secure it. I've marked the predicted location. Take a look at the map. Captain, you read me. I got something to tell you. While you're out there, if you see anything that looks like it could be used to make a wheelchair, bring it back, will you? It's for Chris. He'll be stuck in bed all the time if he doesn't get a wheelchair. Thanks. Oh, and don't mention this to anyone. Especially Miranda.
requires that you look after yourself, Captain.
Objective complete. Please return at once. to analyze the data. Please synchronize your iDroid with me here. Captain, we repaired the materials you brought back and took a shot at making a wheelchair. This kind of thing isn't my forte, but thanks to Reeve's help, we pulled it off. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna go give it to Chris. I hope he likes it. What do you think, Chris? <laughs> I know it's not perfect, but... No, it's fine. It's great, actually. Um... Thank you. Captain, pardon the interruption, but we have an update for you. The data you recovered contained records of the Karen Corps, but there was no information related to singularities. It looks as though we may have to rely on Mr. Gruen's data after all. We're still going through it, but we'll let you know when we're done. How'd that wheelchair work out? It's functioning with no issues whatsoever. Your proposal to craft a wheelchair was a good one. <laughs> what? You were the one who came up with the idea? Oh, damn it, Virgil. I told you to keep your mouth shut. Oh, well. I do have another suggestion, though. We don't know how long it'll take to finish analyzing what we got from Gruen. So I was thinking we should set up an exploration team to help secure supplies. Good idea. 
We'll get home sooner with the right people working in the right places. We've got Chris to think about, too. We need to do whatever it takes to get him out of here ASAP. Um, if you're going to be forming this team, I can help out with that. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Of course I don't mean I'll be able to go out and look myself. But I can provide support. I took a look at Virgil's operating system. I noticed there are a bunch of features with limiters and locks on them. I won't be able to unlock everything at once. But I think I can bring the navigation features back online pretty quick. If Chris can do this, you'll be able to set multiple navigation points at once. This would certainly be just what an exploration team would need. Well, that'd be awesome, but... How'd you get so good with computers, Chris? Well, programming gave me a world to explore. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, your contribution is invaluable around here. And now, thanks to you, our exploration team will be equipped for the job. All right, then. We're going to need a facility for the exploration team's activities. I leave that to you, Captain. <laughs>